triangles. Hi, dear students. Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn to describe the properties of triangles using concrete objects or models. Let's start. Let's have a treasure hunt. Can you guess what's inside this treasure chest? Wow! Can you notice their similarity? They are all triangles. Now, can you tell me what a triangle is? In the word triangle, tri means three. Well, angle means angle. It means that triangle is a polygon formed by three angles. Let's say we have angle A, angle B, and angle C. If we join these angles together, we can form a triangle. We can name a triangle using its vertices. This triangle has vertices B, A, and C. So we can name this as triangle ABC. You can also mix the vertices and name it as triangle BAC, CBA, or any combination of the vertices. Now, as we join these angles, we also form its sides. As we can see, a triangle has three sides. Therefore, a triangle is a polygon with three angles and three sides. You can label each side using the vertices. For example, this side can be named as side AB or BA. Well, this one can be side BC or CB. And the last one can be named as side AC or CA. We can also label sides using small letters, like side A, B, and C. We learned in our previous lesson that angles are measured in degrees. And a triangle has a total of 180 degrees. We can see that if we combine the angles to form an angle, we will form a straight angle which measure 180 degrees. Now we can use this idea in finding the missing measurement of an angle in a triangle. Let's say this triangle has angles that measure 55 degrees and 65 degrees. While the measurement of the other angle is missing or unknown. To find the missing measurement of one angle in a triangle, you can simply add the measurement present and subtract it from the total measurement in degrees of a triangle, which is 180 degrees. So let's add 55 degrees and 65 degrees, which gives us the sum 120 degrees. Now let's subtract this from 180 degrees, which will be 60 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of this angle is 60 degrees. To check our answer, you can add up all the degrees together and if you get 180 degrees in total, it means it's correct. Now that you know some basics about triangles, did you know that triangles can be classified according to its angles and its sides? First, let's find out the kinds of triangle according to its angles. In our previous lesson, you learned the different kinds of angle. They are acute angle, which measures less than 90 degrees. Right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. And obtuse angle measures between 90 and 180 degrees. Now, if we draw a line in each angle, we can form a triangle. For example, if we draw a line here, it forms an acute triangle. While for this one, it will form right triangle. And the last one will be obtuse triangle. Now, in acute triangle, you can notice that all angles are acute. This means that they are all less than 90 degrees. In right triangle, you can see that it has one right angle and two acute angles. Lastly, in obtuse triangle, we can see that it has one obtuse angle and two acute angles. 
Now let's identify what kind of triangle according to its angles is this. We can notice that all angles of this triangle measure less than 90 degrees, which means they are all acute angles. Therefore, we can say that this is an acute triangle. Next one. This triangle has 90 degree angle, which means it has a right angle. Always remember that the moment you see that it has a right angle, we can already say that it is a right triangle. Next, we have here another triangle. We can see that it has an angle measuring more than 90 degrees, which means it is an obtuse angle. Always remember that the moment you see that the triangle has an obtuse angle, we can already say that it is an obtuse triangle. Last one. We can see that this triangle has angles that measure 60 degrees. If we saw a triangle like this, we can call it as equiangular triangle. In equiangular triangle, all angles are equal or measure 60 degrees. Now let's recall the kinds of triangle according to its angles. We have acute triangle, right triangle, obtuse triangle, and equiangular triangle. Great job! Now we are done with kinds of triangle according to its angles. This time, let's learn about kinds of triangle according to its sides. Let's go! First one, we have an equilateral triangle. In equilateral triangle, we can see that all sides have the same length or equal. In equilateral triangle, if one side measures 20 meters, this means that the remaining side will always be 20 meters. We also use stick mark symbols to determine whether sides are equal. When sides are marked using the same symbol like this, that means they have equal measures. Always remember that all equilateral triangles are equiangular triangle. Let's go to the next one. This kind of triangle is an isosceles triangle. In isosceles triangle, we can see that only two sides have the same length or equal. Here we can see that two sides both measure 90 centimeters, while the other one measures 6 centimeters. Another example, this triangle has two sides both measure 14 meters, while the other one is 10 meters, which means it is an isosceles triangle. We can also use tick mark symbols. Here, only two sides have the same symbols, which means they are equal, while the other one has a different symbol. Last one! This triangle is an example of a scalene triangle. You can notice that its sides have different lengths. It means that in scalene triangle, no sides are equal. For example, in this triangle, one side measures 9 centimeters, while the other one is 13 centimeters, and the last one is 5 centimeters. Another example, in this triangle, one side is 11 meters, while the other one is 15 meters, and the other side is 8 meters. You can see that no sides are equal. We can also use tick mark symbols. Here we can see that they all have different symbols. One side has only one tick, while the other one has two ticks, and the last one has three ticks, which means they are not equal. Wonderful! Now you already know the kinds of triangle according to its sides. Let's recall. We have equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and scalene triangle. Yay, you made it this far students. Now here are the things that you learned today.